Hey, it's Riggs. It's April 27th, 2014, and this is the next installment of my indoor garden. Got some good news and some bad news with the uh, indoor garden today, and a little bit of a rearrange as well. So let's uh, dive right into it. Over here on the right, we have uh, an owl plant. Uh, this was already a household plant that I was nursing back to health. Uh, it was a little bit smaller than it was before, but it has a lot of uh, younger growth on the bottom too, so it's got a... Uh, it's got to be retransplanted. I did try to transplant it, but the, it was so root-bound, unfortunately, that I couldn't actually separate it without damaging the roots. And they have uh, very fragile roots, so you don't want to try and just yank them apart. You need to ease them apart. If they don't ease apart, then they're not going to separate. Or if they do separate, they're not going to live. Now, of course, we all know cilantro. It's actually gotten quite uh, a bit taller and bushier. Uh, I'm actually quite glad to see that. might have to start clipping it soon, actually. Uh, over here, we have two new additions. Over here on the uh, left is rosemary, and over here is some thyme. Now, the rosemary was actually done by a special request, and that is why I picked it up. And the thyme actually came with it. I must admit, though, the rosemary does smell good. Very great suggestion. Of course, we have our cilantro down here. So, I mean, if we look at all this, I mean, we've pretty much got our own little spice rack growing here. And uh, this has actually been growing quite well. I keep rotating the pot so that the... Uh, the stems there don't like just grow towards the window. It gives it a little bit more of a stable upward growth. And this here is a cactus plant. Um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of cactus plant it is, but it was actually one of the household plants too, just like the aloe. Uh, the reason why it's here though is because I had an end table that it was sitting on, but I had to move the end table, so I put this here. Where did I move the end table? Well, oh, that's a good question. Over here is where I move the end table. A lot of more good news. So, the reason the end table is here now is because I needed more ceiling space, and well, the, the tomato plant is shooting up like crazy. Now, as you can see, that it's roughly about the same height as the shelf, a little bit higher where it's sitting at. So, you can kind of give a good estimate of uh, how much the tomato plant has really grown. It's quite too tall for the shelf now, and that's why I needed something without a ceiling. Now, at the rate it's growing, I'm probably going to have to put stakes in the soil um, in about two weeks just to give it more stability. And as soon as the tomatoes start growing on it, it's probably going to try and lean a lot more. Which goes on to the next thing with uh, more growth, are the strawberries here. Now, as you can see, you can't, they can't hide them at all. These nice bright red strawberries here. They are uh, just about ready for picking. I'm probably going to pick them tomorrow morning. I'll, uh, I'll leave a comment and tell you if they're sweet or not. I don't want to take full credit for these strawberries, though, because they were probably a lot like this little strawberry right here when I first picked up the plant. So, you know, they were already growing. That's not really fair to say, oh, look what I grew. Uh, I will probably end up putting a little uh, support shelf along this edge here, uh, just because uh, the strawberries themselves are kind of uh, just leaning off the side. So I don't want them to do put too much stress on the plant and quite possibly even choke it off from getting uh, the nutrients that it requires. Now the plants on the right side don't seem to be uh, growing too many strawberries just yet. There's a lot of new growth on them though so that's a good sign but they just aren't uh, quite ready to be shooting off strawberries it seems. We'll play that one by ear. Anyway, uh, one of the plants you might notice is not here is the jalapeno plant. This is where the bad news comes in. Now, the jalapeno plant, when I was watering this morning, I saw a lot of little green, tiny things on them, and I thought, like, that's a really weird way that, you know, the peppers are growing on it, because I thought that that's what they were. Turns out, I looked a little bit closer, and it has aphids. They're little tiny green mites that are just not very good for the plant. They usually like to chew on a softer material, so new growth is perfect for them. Um, I did separate it from the rest of the plants to prevent any kind of... Uh, spread of the aphid population. I inspected all these plants thoroughly. There are no aphids on them, so that's a good thing. I'm more concerned mostly about the tomato plant and the strawberry plant because if this, they get it, then yeah, it's probably doomed for them because they have a lot of squishy material. So, yeah, the jalapeno plant is still alive. I'm treating it right now and probably be back in two weeks if I can keep the aphids from repopulating on it. Uh, I try not to use any chemicals because that just damages the plant. So uh, hopefully it doesn't come down to that. If it does, then I don't even think I'll be eating the jalapenos. And that'll just be a hobby plant at that rate. So anyway, yeah, that's the good news and bad news. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, comments below. Make it a great day and DFTBA.